Brexit fishing fury to haunt Tories for rest of their lives if Boris sells out to EU. Speaking on the Brexit Unlocked podcast, hosts and former Brexit party MEPs Martin Dobney and Belinda De Lucy discussed the latest Brexit trade negotiations with ex-MEP June Mummery. M's De Lucy warned Boris Johnson's government would be haunted if they didn't try to rejuvenate coastal towns. She said, it's been heartbreaking seeing a thriving coastal towns reduced to ghost towns, basically dependent on welfare now over the last few decades. We now have this historic chance to rejuvenate these areas. If the Boris Johnson government doesn't grab it, I think it will haunt them for the rest of their lives. M's Mummery interjected, haunt them? There are 186 coastal MPs. Where are they? Why aren't they banging on Boris's door or David Frost's door? I'll tell you now, if I'd have been elected in Lowestoft and this was happening, I would be causing riots in Parliament now. I'd have rounded up the rest of those coastal MPs and I would have said, what the hell are we going to do? But where are they? I spoke to my MP last and he didn't know a thing. It comes as Mr. Johnson and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen spoke via video conference on Saturday to take stock of progress in the negotiations following the final scheduled round of talks between Brussels and the UK this week. Following their conversation on Saturday, the pair have tasked their chief negotiators with working intensively to resolve the remaining differences in the post Brexit trade talks. Speaking to the BBC's Andrew Marr show, Mr. Johnson said, I think it's there to be done. Alas, there are some difficult issues that need to be fixed. There is no question that the EU needs to understand that we are utterly serious about needing to control our own laws and our own regulations. And similarly they need to understand that the repatriation of the UK's fisheries which were lost in 1973 is very important. Fishing rights State aid and governance continue to be vexed issues between the two sides as they look to ratify a new trading relationship before the transition period ends on December 31. Responding to a comment made by Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte that a UK-EU trade deal is a geopolitical necessity, Mr Johnson told the BBC, good for Mark, in which case I hope that they'll agree to the deal that we've set out. I hope that they'll agree to the deal that we've set out because it's a very good deal for the EU. All we're asking our friends and partners to offer is terms that they've already offered to Canada which is you know a long way away from here. We're very close to our European friends and partners, we've been members of the EU for 45 years, I see no reason why we shouldn't get those sorts of terms.